Beethoven's first music teacher was his own father. It is widely believed that he was a harsh instructor and that Beethoven as a child was often made to stand at the piano keys to the point at which he was brought to tears. His musical talent manifested itself early. Beethoven's father, aware of Mozart's success in this area, attempted unsuccessfully to exploit his son as a child prodigy. Beethoven's first public performance in Vienna was in 1795, his first piano concerto. Beethoven moved to Vienna in 1792, but Beethoven did not immediately set out to establish himself as a composer, but rather devote himself to the study of piano performance. During his er early career as a composer, Beethoven concentrated first on the works for piano solo, then string quartets, symphonies, and other genres. This was a pattern he was to repeat in the late period of his career. Twelve of Beethoven's famous series of 32 s piano sonatas date from 1802 and before, and could be considered early period works. Of these, the most well known today is probably Paquette Op. 13. Beethoven had a few students. From 1801 to 1805, he tutored Fernand Ries, who would go on to become a composer and later publish Beethoven Remembered, a book about their encounters. Carl Schneerzy studied with Beethoven from 1801 to 1803. He also gave the Vienna premiere of Beethoven's Piano Concerto Emperor in 1812. Around 1796, Beethoven began to lose his hearing. He suffered a severe ringing in his ears that made it hard for him to perceive and appreciate music. This also made him avoid conversation. The cause of Beethoven's deafness is unknown but has been mainly attributed to lead poisoning. Over time, his hearing loss became more profound. So profound that at the end of the premiere of his Ninth Symphony, he had to be turned around to see the applause of the audience. audience. Hearing nothing, he began to weep. Beethoven's hearing loss did not prevent his composing music, but it did make concerts increasingly difficult. After a failed attempt in 1811 to perform his own piano concerto, The Emperor, he never performed in public again. As a result of Beethoven's hearing loss, a unique historical record has been preserved. His, his conversation books. His friends wrote in the books so that he could know what they were saying. He would then respond either orally or in the books. The books contain discussions about music and other issues and give insights into his thinking. They are a source for investigation into how he felt his music should be performed and also his perception of his relationship to art. Unfortunately, 264 of the total 400 conversation books were destroyed and others were altered after Beethoven's death by Anton Schindler in his attempt to paint an idealized picture of the composer. Beethoven was attracted to the ideals of the Enlightenment. In 1804, when Napoleon's imperial ambitions became clear, Beethoven took hold of the title page of the Third Symphony and scratched the name Bonaparte out so violently that it made a hole in the paper. He later changed the work's title to Heroic Symphony, composed to celebrate the memory of a great man, and he rededicated it to Prince Joseph Franz von Lovrich, at whose palace it was first performed. With Beethoven, I would have to say his, he made history. Beethoven's style of music was extremely appropriate for his time period. It was, the right, it was right at the pinnacle point of the Enlightenment period. He was... He was reviewed as one of the top romantic composers of all time. His music is still revered, performed, and praised today. Beethoven's major accomplishments include 13 symphonies, 32 sonatas, and over 50 concertos. What was really amazing is that he did many of these pieces totally deaf. To be able to overcome such a major disability and compose beautiful pieces of music is amazing. Beethoven led the way for so many artists and musicians. Even artists today still contribute success to Beethoven and musicians of that era. Beethoven will always be remembered in the music he has left for us to enjoy. Sadly, Beethoven died March 26, 1827 of a massive brain aneurysm. The autopsy revealed that he had massive amounts of lead in his system and the lead got in his system through the medications that he was taking to, in an attempt to restore his hearing.